Hey guys, welcome to Whose Thoughts Are These? Um, I'm Rector. And um, this is interesting, doing this whole video rec recording thing because you want to make the whole video without making any mistakes, so you don't want to look stupid. And then at the same time, you have so many important things you want to talk about. This is my second attempt today to record this video, and I've decided to make it much, much shorter, a lot less talk, because I was embarrassing myself, which may or may not be egotistical, which may or may not be even something that's real, because who knows if the ego is real or not. But uh, some thoughts. Do I want to be a spiritual teacher or a healer? The answer is possibly. I do. Um, but it's a hard decision to decide if you should be selfish and do what you enjoy versus doing what you're supposed to be doing for other people. And that is my biggest debate right now. And one of them being you must sacrifice everything that you enjoy for other people because that's the only way you'll ever be happy. Well, that's great. Martyrdom. Wonderful. And the other option is that you um, enjoy life as much as possible while helping others as much as possible. That's what I'm going to try for a while. So in any case, being a spiritual teacher or healer, that's going to have to come in good time. For now, I have to enjoy life a little bit more. And um, brings me to my first thought. Whose thoughts are these? These ideas I'm coming up with. If I don't have an ego in real life, then where are these thoughts coming from? Are they coming from the universe? If they're coming from the universe, I'm still channeling them into a cohesive and unidirectional point. And therefore, if the ego doesn't exist, something is controlling these thoughts, whether you call these thoughts ego or not. And yes, some of them are out loud, some of them are quiet, some of them are flashes, some of them are thoughts that are slower developed. But the point is, how is it possible that we don't have an ego? How is it possible? Um, that being said, that brings me to another point. Soul. Buddhists don't believe that there is a soul. They believe that you're part of this now, and then you go away. You become part of the whole again. Well, that seems kind of sad. You're supposed to give up all your pleasures in this world, no attachments, and then, after you die, there's no reward for your work. <laughs> you're just done. Um, I say, no thank you. I'll choose another religion that sounds more hopeful. So, uh, there you go. Whose thoughts are these? Is this ego? Is this real? Who knows? Um, that's one reason why I like the Bhagavad Gita as it is. In that book, it talks about God being the creator of everything. And he experiences life through you, through your senses. I thought that was a really cool thought. So, every time you're doing anything that you enjoy, you can say, Wow, thank you, God, for this pleasure. And I offer this to you, through me. And you never know. I don't know. The Bhagavad Gita, as it is, seems to think that's a pretty good idea to offer everything to God first. Um, but it's an interesting thought. You can really enjoy everything around you by acknowledging that God made it. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful because it was made that way. So, respect should be given, gratitude should be given, and we can enjoy it together. It's like talking to your best friend, saying, Man, thanks for having me here. This is, this is really a good time. And I cannot believe that you made this. How great is that? Oh, thank you for being here with me, and thank you for giving me this to enjoy. So, just a thought. Um, everything goes back to uh, yesterday, the first thought. You should be silent. And I don't necessarily mean not talking in your head, although trying to silence your mind is supposed to be a really important step in enlightenment. That, that's another conversation. But for now, maybe just talk less in general. I'm talking a lot right now, kind of getting it out of my system, which is why I like this um, new schedule where I'm making these videos, so I can get everything out of my thoughts, start the day new, fresh, and quiet, hopefully. Listen to other people. Be the person who's listening. Try not to judge, because your opinions don't matter. My opinions don't matter. No opinion matters, which is very interesting, too. Ego, fact, false, who knows? Whose thoughts are these? All right, that's all for me today. I don't want to get mixed up. Um, thanks for tuning in. Bye.